And Dr. King became one of the most visible activists in the world as he fought for equal rights. We've come a long way since MLK, but still have a long way to go. Jamie Perez sat down with a group of Wanakee students who are trying to carry on his dream today. Well, these kids have already made a difference by starting the very first black student union at Wanakee High School. There's about 20 students in that group, and today I sat down with three of them who say this group is all about education and fighting for equality the way that Dr. King would have done if he was alive today. Nikki Rawls, TJ Gilmore, and Isabella Moore are just three of very few black students at Wanakee High School. They started the school's first black student union so students of color could feel seen, heard, and understood. Madison area schools where they have like different ethnicity classes you can take and learn about. That's like electives they have there. They don't even offer that at our schools. At Wanakee High School, there are no black teachers. It would be up to a white teacher to take a supervising role over the black student union. The very first thing I said to them is, how do you feel about a white man uh, advising black student union? And the, uh, the kid said to me, Mr. Murphy, who else is going to do it? It was as simple as that, and it, it was the right thing to do. And the kids needed it. And on a day like today, where the students who are making history at their school reflect upon a man who did the same during his time, they know how much power they have to make a real change. The things that we do daily are things that they could never even dream of. So I think that progress has already been made, but then also taking it a step further to dream even farther because I don't think they'd want us to meet the goal and stop there. The district is very supportive. Um, we're, we have this charge of equity now, and we're pushing forward with that, but the the district um, curriculum director uh, recently contacted me about coming in and talking to the students about um, our curriculum and changing that so students of color can see themselves within the curriculum. Their goal, educate. And from the looks of it, they're already taking MLK's dream one step further. We don't fight with weapons, we fight with our voice. That group has already made a major change to the school climate. Their advisor tells me that this will be the first year that Wanakee will teach students about Black History Month. So that's something that these kids should be very proud of. I have much more details on this at channel3000.com. All right, Jamie, thank you. Sure.